Hello everyone, Fast Eddie here. And this video is for Joe Basilio. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, Joe asked me, can I make a video regarding how to eliminate numbness of the arms while riding? So I went back to my trusty book, like I've always been doing for uh, all of my videos, and I drew something out real quick. So why are your hands going numb when you're going riding? So in my experience, and what I've learned from the courses, is there's a bunch of reasons why your hands could go numb. So the first thing to keep in mind, this happens on all types of bikes, right? So you got a sport bike here, you have like a chopper cruiser bike, um, you have like a naked sport bike style bike, and then you have like an adventure bike like my bike. And as you can see, it, on each bike it has its own position of where you are on the bike. Sometimes your hands are up high or parallel to like your shoulders. Um, some, on a sport bike, your hands are like really far leaned forward because you're leaned forward, so there's a lot of weight on your hands. I would say it's, I've noticed uh, most people have issues if they're on a sport bike because of all the weight going on their hands. A naked bike sometimes as well. And even on uh, people with my exact same bike, uh, they say their hands are going numb. And um, they try to diagnose why, like maybe they think it's the road they're on, if it's really bumpy or gravelly, or uh, the position of their body. So what I've found out is most of the time, it has nothing to do with your suspension. You don't have to completely redo your suspension like it's broken. Maybe it is, but it's very small percentage that it actually is your suspension. And regardless of how bumpy the road is or how bad it is, the potholes or dips or whatever, um, it's not that as well. It's mainly you. You are mainly the problem of why your hands are going numb. No matter what type of bike you're on, if you're squeezing the handlebars, you're squeezing the grip, right, the throttle on the other hand, you're squeezing really hard, you're gonna feel everything. So just the bike idling is vibrating, right? So it depends on what kind of bike it is, it might be vibrating more. But either way, with the smoothest bike, with the least amount of vibrating, it's still an engine, it's still vibrating. So if you squeeze really hard, it's just gonna amplify the vibrating. And then, especially if you're a newer rider, this is where I found, even myself, when I had my CBR 1000, I was on a very far forward sport bike, all my weight's on my hands, and I'm squeezing really hard because I'm new, and I'm afraid of riding in traffic, and I'm always nervous about my skill at the time, and I was like, oh, where am I supposed to be looking, body position, whatever. And I'm nervous, so it just makes me squeeze more. And if I go really fast, I'm like, oh, I'm squeezing more, and by the time I get a couple miles down the road, my hands are just numb, my, I, my arms are so tired. I have to you know, turn off the bike or go to a gas station, and be like, oh my gosh, man, my forearms are just burning. But then I see other people riding around all day long at the racetrack all day and their hands don't get tired at all. I'm like, well, how in the heck is that possible? They're riding at a track, tripling the speed, doing really aggressive stuff, leaning the bike all the way over, and their arms aren't tired and they don't get fatigued. I just went a half a block down the road and my arms are numb. So it's mainly because you squeeze in the handlebars, you're squeezing the, the grip too much. You have a death grip, you're just, ah! And if you squeeze anything, try squeezing a pencil or whatever. Squeeze something as hard as you can for a minute and time yourself, all right? It, it, it hurts very quickly. So if you're doing that on a motorcycle, along with everything else you're trying to pay attention to, and the thing is vibrating, and you're going over bumps, it's really gonna wear you out very quickly. Whenever I'm riding around on a motorcycle, uh, no matter what type of bike I've had, or I owned, or I rode before, because I ride all different types of bikes just for fun, if I could be as loose and relaxed as possible, it's gonna make everything so much easier. So. A running coach told me this way back in high school when I was in high school, and when I graduated high school, 2002. So a running coach told me this and I applied to riding a motorcycle. Whenever you're running, act like you're holding a potato chip with these two fingers, right? So you're holding the potato chip enough not to break it, but not light enough as well so it's gonna fly out of your hands. So just hold on to something very light where you can keep control of it. I have the potato chip in my hand, like a Pringles or whatever, but I'm not gonna death grip it and break it and crumble up. So same thing on your motorcycle. You wanna hold on to the bars, be in control of the bike, of course, but not squeezing it so hard to where you're wasting energy. So it needs to be efficiency of energy. If I could just relax on the handlebars, relax my arms, relax my shoulders, relax my whole body, that's way better than trying to tense up and squeeze and as hard as I can. So because in my experience, I've learned from other people just asking questions and talking to so many people and riding different styles of bikes, most of the time, especially with me as well, I found it that my hands were going most numb or hurting the most on a sport bike, mainly because my body is so far forward 
and my hands are straight, right? Because a lot of people ride sport bikes like this. Their hands are straight, their wrists are bent at a crazy angle, and you're like this. So keep in mind, this is not how a sport bike is meant to be ridden. Look at the thing. It's meant to be on a track. It meant to I mean your butt back, arms bent, so when you push the handlebars, you're pushing forward on the handlebars. If you're, if you're riding on like this on a sport bike, like the Lion King look, right? I'm a sport bike, I'm cool. This is not how you steer the bike. How can you steer like this? Your arms are meant to be bent to push forward on the handlebars. Like on my BMW, they're pretty much right here. So whenever I wanna go left, I push forward left. I'm not gonna push down, that doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna push up, I'm not gonna do anything else. It's a forward push, which makes the bike tip or lean and I go to the left. You push left, you go to the left. If I'm on a sport bike and I try to push left, I have to go like this, like a front shoulder lift or whatever, right? If I'm like this, and, that's, and this crazy bend of my wrist is gonna be very difficult and all my weight's on there, my hands are gonna go numb. This is gonna be very uncomfortable. And I rode around like this for a while when I had my CBR 1000 because I didn't know any better. No one ever taught me or told me. Until I started taking more and more courses and talking to more people, and just through experience of what I'm feeling, started to bend my arms so I, so I can have a forward push. My elbow is parallel with my wrist, right? I'm not really high up. El elbow parallel to the wrist, loose shoulders, right? And then the, the steering become easier and less fatigued. So additionally, besides just trying to bend your arms, no matter what kind of bike you're on, keep your arms bent, even come forward a little bit on the handlebars so you're not perfectly straight out. Lean forward a little bit on the bike so your arms can be bent. Uh, sometimes, especially sport bikes, if you're really, if all your weight is on your knees, if you just move your butt back a little bit, it'll bend your arms, it could be a little bit more relaxed. But you may find it beneficial, again, not saying you have to do this or you should do this, it may work for some of you to squeeze your knees a little bit more on the gas tank, especially on a sport bike, so you can have some kind of grip, especially when you're braking, so you don't slide all the way forward and all of your weight goes on your hands, again, amplifying the whole problem of what this whole thing is about. So just something to consider. I would highly recommend, no matter what bike you're on, right, sport bike, cruiser bike, adventure bike, naked bike, whatever it is, try to have your arms bent and loose and relaxed as possible. So sometimes I tell people, uh, can you play the piano while you're riding? And after they look at me like this, I, I say, this is what I mean. Whatever you're doing, I don't care if you're doing aggressive braking, you're doing cornering, you're at the racetrack. If you can't play the piano, which literally means this, if you can't do this while riding around, because to go left, you push left, right? That doesn't require my fingers to do anything, does it? No, I don't need to death grip the handlebar. If I want to go that way, I just push forward. It has nothing to do with my fingers course they're around the handlebar I'm not saying ride around like this but hold on to the handlebar nice and loose like you're holding a potato chip you want to go left just push left and the bike will do everything else but you don't have to death grip it right so try to stay loose try to keep your shoulders loose your arms bent arms bent bend your arms so many times I walk up to people and they're riding around like man my hands are numb and I just go da, da. bend your arms try to keep your arms loose play the piano if you're going through a corner right you're riding around whatever you're going through a corner Test yourself in the middle of the corner. Am I tensing up and death gripping and my hands are going numb or can I play the piano in a corner? All right, so try to stay loose with your arms especially because this controls the bike. Your right hand controls everything. You got your front brake, which is all the braking power, and then you have the throttle. Those are like the two most important things almost, right? And then you got the clutch. You don't want your hand to be worn out for the clutch, so just use it when you need to, stay relaxed. Then you got your knees and your legs and feet and everything else, but as much relaxation you could have in your body whenever you're riding, I recommend 100% to be completely relaxed and not to waste energy trying to push or whatever you're doing, wasting energy if it's not required. If you do that, if you ride around death gripping the, the gas tank, stomping down on a foot peg and going like this and, and you're like, oh, I've been riding and this what works for me and you're telling people not to do it, able riding around a helicopter for this anyway at this point. Anyway, if you ride like that and you love it, fantastic. You just skip the video and go to another video and don't even make a comment or anything else. That's fine, it works for you. But majority of people, again, here's the bell curve. I'm not talking about the outliers that are just brand new and have no concept of anything, nor am I talking about the professional racers or people that are way better than me, which are a whole lot of people that are better than me. I'm talking about the majority of people who this is gonna be beneficial to. If you haven't tried it, give this a try. Come forward a little bit, 
scoot your butt back away from the gas tank, like a fist away from the gas tank so you're not right up against it and all your weight, right? Scoot back a little bit, bend your arms, and try to stay loose whenever you're riding. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're going through the worst alley, wherever it is, and the ground is just all crappy, even if your suspension is just garbage as well. You could ride around like that, your butt's gonna get beat up, but your hands won't have to go numb. It's mostly because you're just squeezing way too hard. And that's because of lack of experience, lack of training, lack of practice, lack of everything else. Uh, or just nervousness about, oh my God, I'm going through a corner, I'm going 50, going 50 through a corner. Ah. Remember, play the piano, okay. Ooh. Relax, keep your eyes up, point your chin where you wanna go, try to keep your arms loose, play the piano. Loose, loose, loose. If you could do that, um, miraculously, your numbness on your hands will probably go away. So Joe, thanks for the uh, comment and the suggestion about making the video. I hope I answered your question. And uh, see you next time.